What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna go through the new GTA 5 Online DLC that was just announced today. Los Santos Drug Wars is the new coming DLC that will be released in the next week. So let's get through the new information, starting off with the new character. So Dax is going to be one of the new characters and also we'll have the Ron character as well. And two other characters on the left that are still to be announced and as you guys can see uh some new vehicles some new liveries at least um so there's some stuff to look into this update uh, this is just a multi-part update so basically they will be releasing this update uh with several parts okay it's not just one big bunch it's going to be released within like two three four parts okay so Los Santos Drug Wars comes to GTA 5 Online on December 13. So that's the first thing you guys can see over here. And uh, it tells you already the release date. So it's usually on the either Thursday or, uh, you know, Tuesdays. But in this case, it's going to be December 13. Okay. So um, head up straight to Blaine County and join up with the old Paul Nervous Ron and a new band of out-of-state misfits on a mission to put their stamp on the Los Santos psychedelic straight, fight off an unlikely coalition of wealthy hippies and trigger happy bikers while cooking up a tent allocygenics in an elaborate labs on are out of your own massive rolling chemistry set in the opening cha chapter of an expensive new two-part story update so it's actually going to be two parts this update the first one is going to be on december 13 and it's basically new uh, contracts new businesses related to drugs okay so it's something that we've already seen in gt5 online but this will bring um wild side effects new business enterprise to operate new vehicles and missions experimental upgrades whatever that means and this is just the first dose so be prepared for more exciting events including some jolly holiday hijinks significant story and gameplay updates and much more to come so this is just a post that announces the dlc so the name for the dlc and the theme of the dlc uh, so as you guys can see over here they're just Pretty much confirming that there will be new events new vehicles new contracts uh new businesses on the game so if you go uh to the other me to the other news over here uh that was released like one day ago they actually say that whatever whoever participated in the highest challenges will get this vehicle for completely free so this is gonna be a brand new vehicle that's going to be released as well within this DLC, uh, the the classy Tahoma Coupe, and basically they are essentially thanking everyone of the community for participating in the UFO event, for the Sprunk and Ecola event, and for collecting four trillion dollars. So the new vehicle is the the classy Tahoma Coupe. It's going to be later this month available for a limited period of time um <clears throat> there's also several you know improvements in the game uh mostly quality updates in the game and uh free mode and other stuff okay so as you guys can see over here they already saw the dex so dex is the new contact from this dlc so the drug wars dlc and general improvements, they are just, you know, minor adjustments. I won't go through all of them, but basically they are putting up some missions on the casino with uh, solo. Instead of requiring two players, you can already uh, launch business cell missions in invite-only sessions with a terabyte. And finally, they will have ray trace reflections, which is something that they should have already had, but they uh, didn't. Uh, new vehicle purchases will arrive faster. Custom weaponized vehicles can now be used in races where appropriate. Bicycles will be added to the list of vehicles that can be requested from the mechanic. And you can enjoy <laughs> the house special works without completing the house time trial introductory. So that's nothing uh, really uh, great. Uh, there's just minor updates. The only one that's really great is the economy update over here. So the car cargo cell missions will be... 
uh, having a high demand bonus and there will be triple money in smuggler missions also uh, you guys can see over here there seems to be in one of the new vehicles that will be available in the game that's the taxi over there and uh, furthermore they explain that there will be a fleet of new vehicles world events contact missions and new businesses and uh, that's what we should expect so that's pretty much what we have to expect from at least any dlc that rockstar publishes they will give you new missions new vehicles new uh, possibly a new business or a new heist in this case it's not about the heist it's just about businesses and drugs so that's what you can count for the new dlc that will be coming next week okay guys so i hope this has helped you if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one i'm out peace so this is it for this video guys i hope you will really like the video check my channel for other videos subscribe if you haven't click the ring bell notification and see you in the next video